like in 75, 77, fear is palpable. Uh, in fact, uh, Chief Justice Chandra Shud has just declared that uh, uh, there is fear even in the courtroom uh, in, in, in India today. So fear is palpable in many different circles. In fact, uh, Mr. Bajaj told the same thing to um, Amit Shah uh, a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Um, and the reasons for this fear is similar to what we saw in the um, mid 70s, uh, IT raids, ED raids. Um, yeah, that's one common feature. Uh, but I would say the emergency was a very different episode uh, for two reasons. One, it was much more brutal. The state used much more violent uh, means. If you, if you think in terms of the number of people who went behind bars, 100,000 opponents went behind bars. If you think about the uh, forced uh, sterilization, uh, millions of people, probably uh, seven to 10 million people. Then if you think in terms of uh, deportation, uh, Kashmiri Gate, so many other places, from where um, the, the the slum dwellers were uh, driven out, it was much more brutal. At the same time, it was also different because, in contrast to to what we see today, there was no plan. Mrs. Gandhi declared the emergency uh, in a rather amateurish manner. Uh, she had not thought about what would happen the day after or the month after, for sure the year after. Well, by contrast, uh, the present regime fits in a long-term plan. And, and, uh, and another clear difference related to that one is that um, Congress was a very weak organization. Uh, Sang Parivar is a very well oiled organization uh, with disciplined um, volunteers, uh, and not only uh, RSS Soyamsevaks, but of course, uh, vigilante groups, so many offshoots, so many subsidiaries, uh, uh, trade union, student union, ABVP, uh, peasant union, and so on and so forth. So here there is, of course, a big difference. 